Hi, I'm Benny Knott from Noisy Post, and earlier on this week, I did a review video of Clarity FX Pro by Waves. This new plugin has blown me away. For all you people out there who wanna see Clarity VX, the standard edition, I thought it'd be great to run that over the three scenarios that I recorded for the other review. So let's check it out. The standard version of Clarity VX goes for $29.99 US dollars on the Waves website. I'd really appreciate if you use the links in my description below for either that or the pro version. It'll just help the channel keep going. I'm gonna do a quick rundown of the plugin. So we have Clarity VX here with our reset button. So that resets the machine learning of the background noise and the dialogue. We've got the options for broad one and two. Uh, basically, if you put your mouse over it, it'll tell you what each version does. Uh, it's just how it picks up the, the vocals or the dialogue. Uh, we've got analysis, you can either go single or double, which is basically mono or stereo. So if you've got a stereo recorded sound, so it's not a summed mono, but it's a stereo microphone and different sounds are coming in both sides, you can treat that in an, uh, a stereo setting. And then you can obviously uh, widen or um, narrow your sound. Uh, so if you wanna take your stereo sound after you've cleaned it and make it mono for your dialogue, now we've got our main dial just to basically get rid of the noise and then you'll have a little display here. So we're gonna just play through the first sound and see how it goes. This is the office scenario. Now we don't have any staff here, it's just me, no crew, but I decided to chuck this industrial fan to give you the sense of a air conditioning noise, but to the extreme because I wanted to really test what RX and Clarity can do. But both these software should be pretty able to good, eh? a pretty consistent sound like this. The other day when I was playing with the pro version, it honestly blew me away. And you, you probably, if you saw the video, you would have seen my response. And I'm equally as blown away with this. Obviously we got minimal options. We can't uh, play with the different bands of EQ. It's just on or off. You can't even hear the ambience. So it's, it is very basic compared to the pro version. I recommend you watching the pro video that I made. If you want something simple for 30 US dollars to just clean up your, maybe it's vocals in a track, if you've got a loud computer in your studio, or honestly, if you're a video editor and you just need something to just clean up that dialogue, if you do your own audio mixes, which I never recommend, get a pro to do your audio mixes. But let's be honest, smaller budgets, some of you video guys just need to be able to do your own edit, edits, audio edits and stuff. So to whack this on, just turn up a little bit, just to get a bit of clarity, it's amazing. So I'm gonna play this again for you at full. This is the office scenario. Now we don't have any staff here, it's just me, no crew, but I decided to chuck this industrial fan to give you the sense. So there is a bit of artifacts, some stuff going on, sort of that mid range, you can hear a, a bit of crunchy, gargly sort of sounds a bit after my dialogue, but you gotta know what you're listening for. So you get this, maybe chuck a bit of room reverb back into it, an office scenario, and you're good to go. Now, depending on your production, you know, for maybe a feature or film or something like that, you know, the artifacts are pretty full on, but that's at 100%, right? Like, the fact that there's a fan right there and we can't hear it at all is pretty amazing. Like, I'm, I'm actually blown away, but going that hard, depending on your project, maybe if you're just doing an ad or something like that, even a podcast and you just want it to be really clean for people who are listening in cars, get rid of all the noise, you know, this is a great way to go. A lot of people gave me a hard time about comparing the pro version to RX and it wasn't really a fair comparison and I didn't use all the modules and we didn't do offline processing. The whole point of that video was to just show you what real-time processing, what RX can do compared to this, but it's a great plugin that you'll be able to get really quick results with it. So if we go to like say 38% or something, or th uh, you know, 35%, have a listen, there'll be fan there, but you'll lose a lot of those artifacts going on. This is the office scenario. Now we don't have any staff here, it's just me, no crew, but I decided Compared to chuck off. this industrial fan to give you the sense of a air conditioning noise, but to the extreme. It's really fantastic. I'm gonna show you the next scene. This was late at night, about 8 p.m. There's birds going nuts, there's some cars passing us, a little bit of wind, but what I'll do is reset the plug-in, we're gonna play it back. Here we are in our outdoor situation. It's very much not so you can hear lots of cars, birds. Here we go, I'm gonna crank it all the way up. Here we are in our outdoor situation. It's very much not ideal. I have uh, birds in the trees about 8 p.m. So they're going nuts singing their songs before bed. Uh, we've got cars coming past. So the thing that blows me away is, yes, we're getting some artifacts and it sounds pretty unnatural. It feels a bit unnatural in a way, but the actual dialogue itself, we have the full clarity of the dialogue. So, you know, one thing that in the other video I, I noticed with say using vocal denoise is 
once you start kind of cleaning out the high end stuff, the you know anything above. 2K or anything like that, you really lose degradation in the dialogue where, yes, we're adding some artifacts, but the actual dialogue itself is clean. So if you're working on a documentary or just a quick TVC and you really need it to be clean, you can crank that thing up to full and then just put some music behind there. Or maybe you put your own ambience just to, you know, give you a sense of the space that you're in. But those birds are obnoxious you know, the cars going past aren't as a problem, as much of a problem. So, you know, you could probably back it off a little bit, but the fact that you can get this much clarity, but then reduce all that background noise is amazing. Here we are. <laughs> See, I pressed play then and I was like, oh wait, is it playing? Because there's literally no noise. Listen. Here we are in our outdoor situation. It's very much not ideal. I have. So uh, there's birds. lots of artifacts things going there, uh, like, you know, some garbly sounds and stuff. And to be honest, I think that the pro version does a better job of it, uh, whether it's because it splits up the bands. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I felt like when we just cranked that one to 100%, it just did a, a cleaner job of it. But honestly, if we just back this off again, maybe go 40%. Here we are in our outdoor situation. It's very much not ideal. I have uh, birds in the trees about 8 p.m. So they're going nuts singing their songs before bed. Uh, we've got cars coming past constantly, a main road just down here. So it's not great. Uh, the boom's just out of shot. So let's see how RX and good. Clarity do in this situation. It's really good. All right, we're gonna go to our last scenario. Let me just chuck the plug in on this scenario. So this one was a background music scenario. So let's just say you were doing a documentary recording in a cafe and they wouldn't turn the music off. So there's music playing in the background. So in this scenario, there's background. I had it pretty cranked. I know that maybe that doesn't sound like it, the boom's pretty directional, but it was really loud in the room. The, I think I'm projecting a bit more because of that, but have a listen. So in this scenario, there's background music. Maybe you're doing an interview for a documentary and you can't tell the cafe owner to shut the music off and you want to try and get rid of it as much as possible so you can put your own music in the background. So in this scenario, there's background music. Maybe you're doing it. So at the start, you can tell it's picking up some vocals. So it knows what is vocals. So because the music has some vocals in there, it's, it's creeping in. So even during the scene, there's obviously some moments where certain notes in the music or the vocals does creep through and it's not discerning what's my voice and what's coming as the music. But to be honest, it's amazing that a plug-in, so simple, one knob can do so much. Obviously, I'm not comparing it to anything else at the moment except for A, being it on and off. And what it is doing is amazing. For 30 US dollars, to be able to get a plug-in that in these scenarios where there's some serious background noise, it's doing an amazing job. If you can't afford something like RX, whether it's the standard or the advanced version, or you're not much of a soundie and you just need something to just clean up your podcast or you do your own videos, your own YouTube channel and your room's not as quiet as you'd like to have, the fact that there is a plug-in that you don't really have to think about, just turn it up a little bit, you know, whether it's 40% and just clean that out, it's going to just elevate your productions. So personally, I'm actually blown away what Waves has achieved uh, from a company who for a while now has not done a lot when it comes to audio post-production, for them to bring this out. Um, I'm really excited about the future of, of what they've got coming. Uh, and look, again, I would really appreciate it if you're gonna buy this version or the pro version that you use the links in my description because it does support the channel and helps me make more videos like this. Please comment below if you have any questions on clarity in Fairlight or Pro Tools. Uh, also hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos and hit that like button to uh, help my channel get a bit of a boost. Really appreciate you being with me today and uh, keep it noisy.